ARM is a family of instruction set architectures for computer processors based on a reduced instruction set computing architecture developed by British company ARM Holdings. A risk-based computer design approach means ARM processors require significantly fewer transistors than typical CISCX86 processors in most personal computers. This approach reduces costs, heat and power use. These are desirable traits for light, portable, battery power devices Euro Euro including smartphones, laptops, tablet and notepad computers, and other embedded systems. A simpler design facilitates more efficient multi-core CPUs and higher core counts at lower cost, providing improved energy efficiency for servers. ARM Holdings develops the instruction set and architecture for ARM-based products, but does not manufacture products. The company periodically releases updates to its cores. Current cores from ARM Holdings support a 32-bit address space and 32-bit arithmetic. The ARM V8A architecture, announced in October 2011, adds support for a 64-bit address space and 64-bit arithmetic. Instructions for ARM Holdings cores have 32 bits wide fixed length instructions, but later versions of the architecture also support a variable length instruction set that provides both 32 and 16 bits wide instructions for improved code density. Some cores can also provide hardware execution of Java bytecodes. ARM Holdings licenses the chip designs and the ARM instruction set architectures to third parties, who design their own products that implement one of those architectures a Euro a Euro including systems on chips that incorporate memory, interfaces, radios, etc. Currently, the widely used Cortex cores, older classic cores, and specialized SECA core cores variants are available for each of these to include or exclude optional capabilities. Companies that make chips that implement an ARM architecture include Apple, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Samsung Electronics, and Texas Instruments. Apple first implemented the new ARM V8A architecture in the Apple A7 chip in the iPhone 5S. Globally, ARM is the most widely used instruction set architecture in terms of quantity produced. The low power consumption of ARM processors has made them very popular. Over 50 billion ARM processors have been produced as of 2014, thereof 10 billion in 2013 and ARM-based chips are found in nearly 60% of the world are Euro unregistered trademark S mobile devices. In 2008, 10 a billion chips had been produced. The ARM architecture is the most widely used architecture in mobile devices, and most popular 32-bit one in embedded systems. In 2005, about 98% of all mobile phones sold used at least one ARM processor. According to ARM Holdings, in 2010 alone, producers of chips based on ARM architectures reported shipments of 6.1 billion ARM-based processors, representing 95% of smartphones, 35% of digital televisions and set-top boxes and 10% of mobile computers. History the British computer manufacturer Acorn Computers first developed ARM in the 1980s to use in its personal computers. Its first ARM-based products were coprocessor modules for the BBC Micro series of computers. After the successful BBC Microcomputer, Acorn Computers considered how to move on from the relatively simple MOS Technology 6502 processor to address business markets like the one that was soon dominated by the IBM PC launched in 1981. The Acorn business computer plan required that a number of second processors be made to work with the BBC Micro platform, but processors such as the Motorola 68000 and National Semiconductor 32016 were considered unsuitable, and the 6502 was not powerful enough for a graphics-based user interface. After testing all available processors and finding them lacking, Acorn decided it needed a new architecture. Inspired by white papers on the Berkeley Risk Project, Acorn considered designing its own processor. A visit to the Western Design Center in Phoenix, where the 6502 was being updated by what was effectively a single-person company, showed Acorn engineer Steve Ferber and Sophie Wilson they did not need massive resources and state-of-the-art research and development facilities. Wilson developed the instruction set writing a simulation of the processor in BBC Basic that ran on a BBC Micro with a second 6502 processor. 
This convinced Acorn engineers they were on the right track. Wilson approached Acorn CEO, Herman Hauser, and requested more resources. Once he had approval, he assembled a small team to implement Wilson's model in hardware. Acorn Risk Machine, ARM2, the official Acorn Risk Machine project started in October 1983. They chose VLSI Technology as the silicon partner, as they were a source of ROMs and custom chips for Acorn. Wilson and Ferber led the design. They implemented it with a similar efficiency ethos as the 6502. A key design goal was achieving low latency input output handling like the 6502. The 6502's memory access architecture had let developers produce fast machines without costly direct memory access hardware. VLSI produced the first ARM silicon on April 26, 1985. It worked the first time, and was known as ARM1 by April 1985. The first production systems named ARM2 were available the following year. The first ARM application was as a second processor for the BBC Micro, where it helped in developing simulation software to finish development of the support chips, and sped up the CAD software used in ARM2 development. Wilson subsequently rewrote BBC Basic in ARM assembly language. The in-depth knowledge gained from designing the instruction set enabled the code to be very dense, making ARM BBC Basic an extremely good test for any ARM emulator. The original aim of a principally ARM-based computer was achieved in 1987 with the release of the Acorn Archimedes. In 1992, Acorn once more won the Queen's Award for Technology for the ARM. The ARM2 featured a 32-bit data bus, 26-bit address space and 27A 32-bit registers. A bits from the program counter register were available for other purposes. The top Seekser bits, served as status flags, and the bottom Twoa bits, were used for setting modes. The address bus was extended to 32 bits in the ARM6, but program code still had to lie within the first 64 MB of memory in 26-bit compatibility mode, due to the reserved bits for the status flags. The ARM2 had a transistor count of just 30,000, compared to Motorola's six-year-old 68,000 model with around 40,000. Much of this simplicity came from the lack of microcode and from not including any cache. This simplicity enabled low power consumption yet better performance than the Intel 80286. A successor, ARM3, was produced with a 4KB cache, which further improved performance. Apple, DEC, Intel, Marvel, ARM6, StrongArm, XSCALE. In the late 1980s Apple Computer and VLSI technology started working with Acorn on newer versions of the ARM core. In 1990, Acorn spun off the design team into a new company named Acorn Risk Machines Limited, which became Arm Limited when its parent company, Arm Holdings plc, floated on the London Stock Exchange and Nasdaq in 1998. The new Apple Arm work would eventually evolve into the ARM6, first released in early 1992. Apple used the ARM6-based ARM610 as the basis for their Apple Newton PDA. In 1994, Acorn used the ARM610 as the main central processing unit in their RISC PC computers. DEC licensed the ARM6 architecture and produced the strong ARM. At 233 MHz, this CPU drew only one watt. This work was later passed to Intel as a part of a lawsuit settlement, and Intel took the opportunity to supplement their i960 line with the strong ARM. Intel later developed its own high-performance implementation named XSCALE, which it has since sold to Marvel. Transistor count of the ARM core remained essentially the same size throughout these changes. ARM2 had 30,000 transistors, while ARM6 grew only to 35,000. Licensing Core license, ARM Holdings' primary business is selling IP cores which licensees use to create microcontrollers and CPUs based on those cores. The original design manufacturer combines the ARM core with other parts to produce a complete CPU, typically one that can be built in existing semiconductor fabs at low cost and still deliver substantial performance. 
the most successful implementation has been the ARM7 TDMI with hundreds of millions sold. Atmel has been a precursor design center in the ARM7 TDMI-based embedded system. The ARM architectures used in smartphones, PDAs and other mobile devices range from ARMv5, used in low-end devices, through ARMv6, to ARMv7 in current high-end devices. ARMv7 includes a hardware floating-point unit, with improved speed compared to software-based floating-point. In 2009, some manufacturers introduced netbooks based on ARM architecture CPUs, in direct competition with netbooks based on Intel Atom. According to analyst firm IHSI Supply, by 2015, ARM ICs may be in 23% of all laptops. ARM Holdings offers a variety of licensing terms, varying in cost and deliverables. ARM Holdings provides to all licensees an integratable hardware description of the ARM core as well as complete software development toolset and the right to sell manufactured silicon containing the ARM's CPU. So C packages integrating ARM's core designs include NVIDIA Tigra's first three generations, CSR PLC's Quattro family, Street Ericsson's Nova and Nova Thor, Silicon Labs's Precision 32 MCU, Texas Instruments' OMAP products, Samsung's Hummingbird and Exynos products, Apple's A4, A5, and A5X, and Freescale's I. MX. Fabulous licensees, who wish to integrate an ARM core into their own chip design, are usually only interested in acquiring a ready-to-manufacture verified IP core. For these customers, ARM Holdings delivers a gate netless description of the chosen ARM core, along with an abstracted simulation model and test programs to aid design integration and verification. More ambitious customers, including integrated device manufacturers and foundry operators, choose to acquire the processor IP in synthesizable ATL form. With the synthesizable ATL, the customer has the ability to perform architectural level optimizations and extensions. This allows the designer to achieve exotic design goals not otherwise possible with an unmodified netlist. While ARM Holdings does not grant the licensee the right to resell the ARM architecture itself, licensees may freely sell manufactured products such as chip devices, evaluation boards and complete systems. Merchant foundries can be a special case. Not only are they allowed to sell finished silicon containing ARM cores, they generally hold the right to remanufacture ARM cores for other customers. ARM Holdings prices its IP based on perceived value. Lower performing ARM cores typically have lower license costs than higher performing cores. In implementation terms, a synthesizable core costs more than a hard macro core. Complicating price matters, a merchant foundry that holds an ARM license, such as Samsung or Fujitsu, can offer fab customers reduced licensing costs. In exchange for acquiring the ARM core through the foundry's in-house design services, the customer can reduce or eliminate payment of ARM's upfront license fee. Compared to dedicated semiconductor foundries without in-house design services, Fujitsu Samsung charge two to three times more per manufactured wafer. For low to mid-volume applications, a design service foundry offers lower overall pricing. For high-volume mass-produced parts, the long-term cost reduction achievable through lower wafer pricing reduces the impact of ARM's NRE costs, making the dedicated foundry a better choice. Architectural license Companies can also obtain an ARM architectural license for designing their own CPU cores using the ARM instruction sets. These cores must comply fully with the ARM architecture. Cores a list of vendors who implement ARM cores in their design, microprocessor and microcontrollers, is provided by ARM Holdings. Example Applications of ARM Cores ARM cores are used in a number of products, particularly PDAs and smartphones. Some computing examples are the Microsoft Surface, Apple's iPad and ASUSEA Pad Transformer. Others include Apple's iPhone Smartphone and iPod Portable Media Player. Canon PowerShot A470 Digital Camera, Nintendo DS Handheld Game Console and TomTom Turn-by-Turn Navigation System. In 2005, ARM Holdings took part in the development of Manchester University's computer, Spinnaker, 
which used ARM cores to simulate the human brain. ARM chips are also used in Raspberry Pi, BeagleBoard, BeagleBone, Panda Board and other single board computers, because they are very small, inexpensive and consume very little power. 32-bit architecture, the 32-bit ARM architecture, such as ARM V7A, is the most widely used architecture in mobile devices. From 1995, the ARM architecture reference manual has been the primary source of documentation on the ARM processor architecture and instruction set, distinguishing interfaces that all ARM processors are required to support from implementation details that may vary. The architecture has evolved over time, and version 7 of the architecture, ARM v7, that defines the architecture for the first of the Cortex series of cores, defines three architecture profiles, A profile, the application profile, Cortex A series, R profile, the real time profile, Cortex A series, M profile, the microcontroller profile, Cortex M series. Although the architecture profiles were first defined for ARM v7, ARM subsequently defined the ARM v6M architecture as a subset of the ARM v7M profile with fewer instructions. CPU modes, except in the M profile, the 32-bit ARM architecture specifies several CPU modes, depending on the implemented architecture features. At any moment in time, the CPU can be in only one mode, but it can switch modes due to external events or programmatically. User mode, the only non-privileged mode. FIQ mode, a privileged mode that is entered whenever the processor accepts an FIQ interrupt. IRQ mode. A privileged mode that is entered whenever the processor accepts an IRQ interrupt. Supervisor mode, a privileged mode entered whenever the CPU is reset or when an SVC instruction is executed. Abort mode, a privileged mode that is entered whenever a prefetch abort or data abort exception occurs. Undefined mode, a privileged mode that is entered whenever an undefined instruction exception occurs. System mode the only privileged mode that is not entered by an exception. It can only be entered by executing an instruction that explicitly writes to the mode bits of the CPSR. Monitor mode, a monitor mode is introduced to support trust zone extension in ARM cores. HIP mode, a hypervisor mode that supports Polk and Goldberg virtualization requirements for the non-secure operation of the CPU. Instruction set, the original ARM implementation was hardwired without microcode, like the much simpler 8-bit 6502 processor used in prior Acorn microcomputers. The 32-bit ARM architecture includes the following risk features, load store architecture. No support for unaligned memory accesses in the original version of the architecture. ARM v6 and later, except some microcontroller versions, Support unaligned accesses for half word and single word load store instructions with some limitations, such as no guaranteed atomicity. Uniform 16A, 32 bit register file. Fixed instruction width of 32 bits to ease decoding and pipelining, at the cost of decreased code density. Later, the thumb instruction set added 16 bit instructions and increased code density. Mostly single clock cycle execution. To compensate for the simpler design, compared with processors like the Intel 80286 and Motorola 68020, some additional design features were used. Conditional execution of most instructions reduces branch overhead and compensates for the lack of a branch predictor. Arithmetic instructions alter condition codes only when desired. 32 bit barrel shifter can be used without performance penalty with most arithmetic instructions and address calculations. Has powerful indexed addressing modes. A link register supports fast leaf function calls. A simple, but fast, two priority level interrupt subsystem has switched register banks. Arithmetic instructions the ARM supports add, subtract, and multiply instructions. The integer divide instructions are only implemented by ARM cores based on the following ARM architectures, ARM v7M and ARM v7EM architectures always include divide instructions. ARM v7A architecture always includes divide instructions in the thumb instruction set, but optionally in its 32-bit instruction set. 
ARM V7A architecture optionally includes the divide instructions. The instructions might not be implemented, or implemented only in the thumb instruction set, or implemented in both the thumb and arm instruction sets, or implemented if the virtualization extensions are included. Registers, registers are 0 through R7 are the same across all CPU modes. They are never banked. R13 and R14 are banked across all privileged CPU modes except system mode. That is, each mode that can be entered because of an exception has its own R13 and R14. These registers generally contain the stack pointer and the return address from function calls, respectively. Aliases, R13 is also referred to as SP, the stack pointer, R14 is also referred to as LR, the link register. R15 is also referred to as PC, the program counter. CPSR has the following 32 bits. M is the processor mode bits. T is the thumb state bit. F is the FIQ disable bit. I is the IRQ disable bit. A is the imprecise data abort disable bit. E is the data and ERNIS bit. IT is the if then state bits. GE is the greater than or equal to bits. DNM is the do not modify bits. J is the Java state bit. Q is the sticky overflow bit. V is the overflow bit. C is the carry extend bit. Z is the zero bit. N is the negative less than bit. Conditional execution, almost every ARM instruction has a conditional execution feature called predication, which is implemented with a 4-bit condition code selector. To allow for unconditional execution, one of the 4-bit codes causes the instruction to be always executed. Most other CPU architectures only have condition codes on branch instructions. Though the predicate takes up 4 of the 32 bits in an instruction code, and thus cuts down significantly on the encoding bits available for displacements in memory access instructions, it avoids branch instructions when generating code for small if statements. Apart from eliminating the branch instructions themselves, this preserves the fetch execute pipeline at the cost of only one cycle per skipped instruction. The standard example of conditional execution is the subtraction based Euclidean algorithm, in the C programming language, the loop is. In ARM assembly, the loop is. Which avoids the branches around the then and else clauses. If RE and RJ are equal, then neither of the sub instructions will be executed eliminating the need for a conditional branch to implement the while check at the top of the loop, for example had SUBLE been used. One of the ways that thumb code provides a more dense encoding is to remove the 4-bit selector from non-branch instructions. Other features, another feature of the instruction set is the ability to fold shifts and rotates into the data processing instructions, so that, for example, the C statement could be rendered as a single word single cycle instruction. This results in the typical ARM program being denser than expected with fewer memory accesses. Thus the pipeline is used more efficiently. The ARM processor also has features rarely seen in other RISC architectures, such as PC relative addressing and pre and post increment addressing modes. The ARM instruction set has increased over time. Some early ARM processors, for example, have no instruction to store a 2-byte quantity. Pipelines and other implementation issues, the ARM7 and earlier implementations have a three-stage pipeline. The stages being fetch, decode and execute. Higher performance designs, such as the ARM9, have deeper pipelines. Cortex-A8 has 13 stages. Additional implementation changes for higher performance include a faster adder and more extensive branch prediction logic. The difference between the ARM7DI and ARM7DMI cores, for example, was an improved multiplier. Hence the added M. Coprocessors, the ARM architecture provides a non-intrusive way of extending the instruction set using coprocessors that can be addressed using MCR, MRC, MRC. MCRR, and similar instructions. The coprocessor space is divided logically into 16 a coprocessors with numbers from 0 to 15, coprocessor 15 being reserved for some typical control functions like managing the caches and MMU operation on processors that have one. In ARM-based machines, 
peripheral devices are usually attached to the processor by mapping their physical registers into our memory space, into the coprocessor space, or by connecting to another device that in turn attaches to the processor. Coprocessor accesses have lower latency, so some peripherals are Euro for example an XSCALE interrupt controller a Euro are accessible in both ways, through memory and through coprocessors. In other cases, chip designers only integrate hardware using the coprocessor mechanism. For example, an image processing engine might be a small ARM7 TDMI core combined with a coprocessor that has specialized operations to support a specific set of HDTV transcoding primitives. Debugging All modern ARM processors include hardware debugging facilities, allowing software debuggers to perform operations such as halting, stepping, and breakpointing of code starting from reset. These facilities are built using JTAG support, though some newer cores optionally support ARM's own do wire SWD protocol. In ARM7 TDMI cores, the D represented JTAG debug support, and the I represented presence of an embedded ICE debug module. For ARM7 and ARM9 core generations, Embedded ICE over JTAG was a de facto debug standard, though not architecturally guaranteed. The ARM v7 architecture defines basic debug facilities at an architectural level. These include breakpoints, watchpoints and instruction execution in a debug mode. Similar facilities were also available with embedded ICE. Both hold mode, and monitor mode debugging are supported. The actual transport mechanism used to access the debug facilities is not architecturally specified, but implementations generally include JTAG support. There is a separate ARM core site debug architecture, which is not architecturally required by ARM v7 processors. DSP enhancement instructions to improve the ARM architecture for digital signal processing and multimedia applications, DSP instructions were added to the set. These are signified by an E in the name of the ARM V5TE and ARM V5TEJ architectures. E variants also imply T, D, M and I. The new instructions are common in digital signal processor architectures. They include variations on signed multiply a euro accumulate, saturated add and subtract, and count leading zeros. SIMD extensions for multimedia introduced an ARM v6 architecture. Gisele. Gisele DBX is a technique that allows Java bytecode to be executed directly in the ARM architecture as a third execution state alongside the existing ARM and thumb mode. Support for this state is signified by the J in the ARM v5 TEJ architecture, and in ARM 9 EJS and ARM 7 EJS core names. Support for this state is required starting in ARM v6, though newer cores only include a trivial implementation that provides no hardware acceleration. Thumb, to improve compiled code density, processes since the ARM 7 TDMI have featured thumb instruction set, which have their own state. When in this state, the processor executes the thumb instruction set, a compact 16-bit encoding for a subset of the ARM instruction set. Most of the thumb instructions are directly mapped to normal ARM instructions. The space saving comes from making some of the instruction operands implicit and limiting the number of possibilities compared to the ARM instructions executed in the ARM instruction set state. In thumb, the 16-bit opcodes have less functionality. For example, only branches can be conditional, and many opcodes are restricted to accessing only half of all of the CPU's general purpose registers. The shorter opcodes give improved code density overall, even though some operations require extra instructions. In situations where the memory port or bus width is constrained to less than 32 bits, the shorter thumb opcodes allow increased performance compared with 32-bit ARM code, as less program code may need to be loaded into the processor over the constrained memory bandwidth. Embedded hardware, such as the Game Boy Advance typically have a small amount of RAM accessible with a full 32-bit dataPath. The majority is accessed via a 16-bit or narrower secondary dataPath. In this situation, it usually makes sense to compile thumb code and hand-optimize a few of the most CPU-intensive sections using full 32-bit ARM instructions, 
placing these wider instructions into the 32-bit bus accessible memory. The first processor with a thumb instruction decoder was the ARM7 TDMI. All ARM9 and later families, including XSCALE, have included a thumb instruction decoder. Thumb2, Thumb2 technology was introduced in the ARM1156 a core, announced in 2003. Thumb2 extends the limited 16-bit instruction set of Thumb with additional 32-bit instructions to give the instruction set more breadth, thus producing a variable length instruction set. A stated aim for Thumb2 was to achieve code density similar to Thumb with performance similar to the ARM instruction set on 32-bit memory. In ARMv7 this goal can be said to have been met. Thumb2 extends the Thumb instruction set with bit field manipulation table branches and conditional execution. At the same time, the ARM instruction set was extended to maintain equivalent functionality in both instruction sets. A new unified assembly language supports generation of either thumb or ARM instructions from the same source code. Versions of thumb seen on ARM v7 processors are essentially as capable as ARM code. This requires a bit of care, and use of a new IT instruction, which permits up to four successive instructions to execute based on a tested condition, or on its inverse. When compiling into ARM code this is ignored, but when compiling into thumb it generates an actual instruction. For example, all ARM v7 chips support the thumb instruction set. All chips in the Cortex-A series, Cortex-A series, and ARM11 series support both ARM instruction set state and thumb instruction set state, while chips in the Cortex-M series support only the thumb instruction set. Thumb execution environment, Thumb EE, marketed as Jazel RCT, was announced in 2005, first appearing in the Cortex-A8 processor. Thumb EE is a fourth instruction set state, making small changes to the thumb to extended thumb instruction set. These changes make the instruction set particularly suited to code generated at runtime and managed execution environments. Thumb EE is a target for languages such as Java, C, Perl, and Python, and allows JIT compilers to output smaller compiled code without impacting performance. New features provided by Thumb EE include automatic null pointer checks on every load and store instruction, an instruction to perform an array bounds check and special instructions that call a handler. In addition, because it utilizes Thumb2 technology, Thumb EE provides access to registers R8 or 15. Handlers are small sections of frequently called code, commonly used to implement high-level languages, such as allocating memory for a new object. These changes come from reposing a handful of opcodes, and knowing the core is in the new Thumb EE instruction set state. On November 23, 2011, ARM Holdings deprecated any use of a Thumb EE instruction set, and ARM v8 removes support for Thumb EE. Floating Point, VFP technology is an FPU coprocessor extension to the ARM architecture. It provides low-cost single precision and double precision floating point computation fully compliant with the ANSIIEE STD754 1985 standard for binary floating point arithmetic. VFP provides floating point computation suitable for a wide spectrum of applications such as PDAs, smartphones, voice compression and decompression, three-dimensional graphics and digital audio, printers, set-top boxes and automotive applications. The VFP architecture was intended to support execution of short vector mode instructions but these operated on each vector element sequentially and thus did not offer the performance of true single instruction, multiple data vector parallelism. This vector mode was therefore removed shortly after its introduction, to be replaced with the much more powerful Neon Advanced SIMD unit. Some devices such as the ARM Cortex-A8 have a cut-down flight module instead of a full VFP module, and require roughly 10 times more clock cycles per float operation. Other floating point and or SIMD coprocessors found in ARM-based processors include FPA, FPE, IWMMXT. They provide some of the same functionality as VFP but are not opcode compatible with it. VFP V1, obsolete. VFPv2, 
an optional extension to the arm instruction set in the ARM V5TE, ARM V5TEJ and ARM V6 architectures. VFPV2 has 16 64-bit FPU registers. VFPV3 or VFPV3D32, implemented on the Cortex-A8 and A9 ARM V7 processors. It is backwards compatible with VFPV2, except that it cannot trap floating point exceptions. VFPV3 has 32 64-bit FPU registers as standard, adds VCVT instructions to convert between scalar, float and double, adds immediate mode to VMOV such that constants can be loaded into FPU registers. VFPV3D16, as above, but with only 16 64-bit FPU registers. Implemented on Cortex A4 and A5 processors. VFPV3F16, uncommon. It supports IEEE 754 2008 half precision floating point. VFPV4 or VFPV4D32, implemented on the Cortex A12 and A15 and ARM V7 processors. Cortex A7 optionally has VFPV4D32 in the case of an FPU with neon. VFPV4 has 32 64-bit FPU registers as standard, adds both half-precision extensions and fused multiplier accumulate instructions to the features of VFPV3. VFPV4D16, as above, but it has only 16 64-bit FPU registers. Implemented on Cortex-A5 and A7 processors. In Debian Linux and derivatives ARMHF refers to the ARM V7 architecture including the additional VFP3D16 floating point hardware extension above. Software packages and cross-compiler tools use the ARMHF versus ARM AML suffixes to differentiate. Advanced SIMD, the Advanced SIMD extension is a combined 64 and 128-bit SIMD instruction set that provides standardized acceleration for media and signal processing applications. Neon is included in all Cortex-A8 devices but is optional in Cortex-A9 devices. Neon can execute MP3 audio decoding on CPUs running at 10 MHz and can run the GSM adaptive multi-rate speech codec at no more than 13 MHz. It features a comprehensive instruction set, separate register files and independent execution hardware. Neon supports 8, 16, 32 and 64-bit integer and single precision floating point data and SIMD operations for handling audio and video processing as well as graphics and gaming processing. In Neon, the SIMD supports up to 16 operations at the same time. The Neon hardware shares the same floating point registers as used in VFP. Devices such as the ARM Cortex-A8 and Cortex-A9 support 128-bit vectors but will execute with 64 a bit at a time, whereas newer Cortex-A15 devices can execute 128 bits at a time. Project NE10 is ARM's first open-source project. The NE10 library is a set of common, useful functions written in both Neon and C. The library was created to allow developers to use Neon optimizations without learning Neon but it also serves as a set of highly optimized Neon intrinsic and assembly code examples for common DSP, arithmetic and image processing routines. The code is available on GitHub. Security Extensions The security extensions, marketed as Trust Zone technology, is in ARM v6kz and later application profile architectures. It provides a low-cost alternative to adding an additional dedicated security core to NSOC, by providing two virtual processors backed by hardware-based access control. This lets the application core switch between two states, referred to as worlds, in order to prevent information from leaking from the more trusted world to the less trusted world. This world switch is generally orthogonal to all other capabilities of the processor, thus each world can operate independently of the other while using the same core. Memory and peripherals are then made aware of the operating world of the core and may use this to provide access control to secrets and code on the device. Typical applications of trust zone technology are to run a rich operating system in the less trusted world, and smaller security specialized code in the more trusted world allowing much tighter digital rights management for controlling the use of media on ARM-based devices, 
and preventing any unapproved use of the device. Trusted Foundation software was acquired by Gemalto. Guy and Deviant developed a rival implementation named Mobicool. In April 2012 Arm Gemalto and Guy and Deviant combined their trust zone portfolios into a joint venture True Stonic. Open virtualization and T6 are open source implementations of the trusted world architecture for Trust Zone. In practice, since the specific implementation details of Trust Zone are proprietary and have not been publicly disclosed for review, it is unclear what level of assurance is provided for a given threat model. No execute page protection, as of ARM v6, the ARM architecture supports no execute page protection, which is referred to as XN for execute never. ARMv8R, the ARMv8R sub-architecture, announced after the ARMv8R, shares some features except that it is not 64-bit. 64 32nd bit architecture, ARMv8R, announced in October 2011, ARMv8A represents a fundamental change to the ARM architecture. It adds a 64-bit architecture, named ARC64, and a new A64 instruction set. ARC64 provides user space compatibility with ARMv7 and ISA, the 32-bit architecture, therein referred to as ARC32, and the old 32-bit instruction set, now named A32. The thumb instruction sets are referred to as T32, and have no 64-bit counterpart. ARMv8A allows 32-bit applications to be executed in a 64-bit OS, and a 32-bit OS to be under the control of a 64-bit hypervisor. ARM announced their Cortex-A53 and Cortex-A57 calls on October 30, 2012. To both ARC32 and ARC64, ARMv8A makes VFPv3 v4 and advanced SIMD standard. It also adds cryptography instructions supporting AES and SHA1-SHA256. ARC64 features, new instruction set, A64, has 31 general-purpose 64-bit registers. Has dedicated SP or zero register. The program counter is no longer accessible as a register, instructions are still 32 bits long and mostly the same as A32. Has paired load stores. No predication for most instructions. Most instructions can take 32-bit or 64-bit arguments. Addresses assumed to be 64-bit. Advanced SIMD Enhanced, has 32-er, 128-bit registers, also accessible via VFPv4. Supports double precision floating point. Fully IEEE 754 compliant. AES Encrypt Decrypt and SHA1-SHA2 hashing instructions also use these registers. A new exception system, fewer banked registers and modes. Memory translation from 48-bit virtual addresses based on the existing LPAE, which was designed to be easily extended to 64-bit. Operating system support, 32-bit operating systems. Historical operating systems. The first ARM-based personal computer, the Acorn Archimedes, ran an interim operating system called Arthur, which evolved into RISC OS, used on later ARM-based systems from Acorn and other vendors. Some Acorn machines also had a Unix port called RISC IX. Embedded operating systems, the ARM architecture is supported by a large number of embedded and real-time operating systems, including Linux, Windows CE, Symbian, Chibi OS RT, Freer TOS, ECOS, Integrity, Nucleus Plus, Micro COS II, PyCOS, QNX, RTEMS, RTX C Quadros, ThreadX, VX Works, DOYOS, MQX, T Kernel, OSE, Cyopta, OS9, and RISC OS. Mobile Device Operating Systems the ARM architecture is the primary hardware environment for most mobile device operating systems such as iOS, Android, Windows Phone, Windows RT, BADA, BlackBerry OS BlackBerry 10, Mago, Firefox OS, Tizen, Ubuntu Touch, Sailfish and Web OS. Desktop Server Operating Systems The ARM architecture is supported by RISC OS and multiple Unix-like operating systems including BSD. 
Open Solaris and various Linux distributions such as Ubuntu and Chrome OS. 64-bit operating systems, mobile device operating systems, iOS 7 on the 64-bit Apple A7 SoC has ARM V8A application support. Desktop server operating systems, support for ARM V8A was merged into the Linux kernel version 3.7 in late 2012. ARM V8A is supported by a number of Linux distributions. Windows applications can be recompiled to run on 32-bit or 64-bit ARM in Linux with Winelib. See also ARM Big Little ARM's heterogeneous computing architecture, ARM accredited engineer certification program, Armulator, comparison of current ARM cores, AMBA, an open source ARM compatible processor core, Amulet microprocessor, an asynchronous implementation of the ARM architecture, Unicore, a 32 register architecture based heavily on a 32 bit ARM. References Further reading Assembly language programming on ARM Cortex M3. First edition. Vincent Mahout. Wiley ISTE. 256 pages. 2012. ISBN 978-1848213296. The Definitive Guide to the ARM Cortex M3 and Cortex M4 Processors. Third edition. Joseph Ayu. Nunes. 600 pages. 2013. ISBN 978-0124080829. The Definitive Guide to the ARM Cortex M3. Second edition. Joseph Ayu. Nunes. 480 pages. 2009. ISBN 978-1-85617-963-8. The Definitive Guide to the ARM Cortex MO. First Edition. Joseph Ayu. Nunes. 552 pages. 2011. ISBN 978-0-12-385477-3. Yurikov, Dennis, An Introduction to Reverse Engineering for Beginners Including ARM Assembly. Online Book. HTTP Eurycle.com Re for Beginners NPDF, External Links, Official Website, ARM Limited. ARM Virtualization Extensions, Quick Reference Cards, Instructions, Thumb, ARM and Thumb 2, Vector Floating Point, OC Codes, Thumb, Thumb, ARM, ARM, GNU Assembler Directives.